is Nick and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do I want to share with you when I open these packages that I got from Scribe. So last Friday, March Thursday rather, March 5th, I went to Scribe SM Aura and to check out the newly um newly upgraded renovated store. It's been a while since their upgrade, but I haven't been there. Even if I go to SM Aura, I don't go inside. I just peek and don't go because I might buy something. So, I, I was in SM Aura last Thursday after I attended the Women, Hashtag 2020 Women Summit uh, that was um, created by Spark. So, I went there after. Wait, so, I was waiting for my, uh, my papa to pick me up from the mall. And I was walking around and I figured I want to go to Scribe because I've been wanting to buy a gold nib fountain pen that is in F nib. So, because my bullet journal has smaller boxes right now, so I struggle with my Pelican M600 medium nib because it's too thick. And so I was thinking maybe I should get more F nib gold nibs because I don't like the steel F, uh, steel F and E F nibs. They're too scratchy for my taste. So anyway, I went there hoping I could try out some gold nib pens and to check out if they have the Sailor Manio ink, which is an ink that um, one of my friends uh, showed me in a group chat. I think it was Isha who showed it to me. So shout out to my SPG friends. Um, so I figured I'd check it out and they did have it. I was initially um, wanting to buy the Neko something or something Neko. I forgot. It's it's a bright blue ink with nice purple undertones to it. But I saw another manual ink that has excellent shading and chromatography property. I got that instead. And some other things too and when you reach 2,000 pesos you get a free 200 peso GC from Scribe so there I got to test um, their pilot no not pilot I got to test their um, platinum 3776 pens and I have to say I just really don't like Platinum pens. What did, they, what did I say? It's Platinum 3776, if I'm not mistaken. They had like the entire, all of the nib sizes except the music nib. You can try it out. And I I liked how the soft, um, soft hard, not soft hard, soft fine nib felt like writing. It's a little thick, which, all, which is something I also like, but it can write thin depending on your um, pressure, which is fine. My problem is I cannot stand the scratching, so I did not get it. Like, you can hear it scratching your paper, which is okay. I feel okay when it's pencil, but when it's a pen, I just, I cannot, I cannot handle that. Anyway, so to make my purchase, I bought two inks, which is here. I will show you in a while, and we will swatch these. But, um, so... I bought two and then my, my bill totaled around one eight. So I needed two hundred bucks more to get the G C which is I'm like okay. Let's put them aside. So I I went around and looked for something worth two hundred, they ended up getting a lot. But anyway, so let me show you enough talking, more opening. So let us open this. So I have here Sailor 462 and Sailor Manio Ink. Haha. <laughs> so, you know, I think hands down, Sailor is my favorite brand across pens and inks. I love their pens, I love their inks. And so there. So, we will try these out in a while. Put this away. And I want to show you something that I've been stopping myself from buying again this is something from sailor but these are these are sailor shikiori brush and um, fiber tip pens i just really love this so my friend chi uh shout out to my planner besties she introduced us to this pen and you know, I think I should stop getting pen recommendations from Chi because she gets me addicted to these pens. She's the one who introduced flare pens to me. And she also showed me this because we like our um, fine tip pens here. 
So, and they are loaded with the colors of the Sailor Shikiori line, which is my favorite, favorite ink line, mind you. But I decided to buy these, and these colors, well, orange because it's my favorite. And then the rest of the colors are mainly for my um, social media planner. And it's funny because I just bought a big pack of uh, paper made flares for the same purpose. So I have so much pens. I wanted to get the entire pack, but it was 2-5, so I'm not a completionist. And Or even if I am, I think I kind of am. Anyway, I'm not a completionist, completionist, so I'm okay with just a few pens. But And then I can just buy them individually. Because I just splurged on so many pens this year. So anyway, let's test it out. Let's test these out first. So these Sailor Shikiori pens are have two tips. One is a brush tip here and one is a fine liner here. So this one is the... Uh, so they're 125 each. This color is Okuyama. And I just love that delicious vintage red. Yum. Vintage red color. It's just so pretty. And here's the brush line. The the Fude it's a Fude type of oops, it's a Fude type of um brush. And it's a little it's like a medium tip. Not too not too hard or too soft. I don't like hard nibs, hard brushes. So these are the pens that I have. Now let's swatch the these inks. So I want to swatch with a brush, but I'm also swatching with my glass pen. So let's try the Sailor 462 first. And in the swatch, it was it's really really pretty. So it's very full. Like the water or the ink is really at at the I don't know what to call that, but it's there. Okay, so let's dip. There is it. That's very pretty. I'm on the lookout for a nice teal, um, dark teal ink, and I think this makes it for me. I love how it looks like because. Let's just see how um, well it does in the pen. Because my experience with dark teal inks is that they tend to stain. So, let's see. I just had a really hard time cleaning my Pilot Kakuno yesterday. Okay, and then again, so this is, um, I think this is blue. Yeah, it is blue. I forgot how dark it is. It's not royal blue though. So I'm loving this really toned down blue. Not not blue black, but I don't know. I like this color. So it, it was a choice between these and the Neko Mayagi, I think. I forgot the exact name of the ink. But it's... I like how... With the swatches where they are just written with and not used to paint, I like this. Um, oh, I forgot to write the name. Thing. I like how the haha looks like more than the Neko Mayagi. I'm, sh I'm I'm sorry, I'm not sure if it's Neko Mayagi, but it sounds like that. So I like this ink better than that um, Neko Mayagi, which is the or the ink that I originally fell in love with with the with the swatch that I saw. Okay, so my brush is dry. Let's just pick up this ink from the cap. There. It's not showing really well in this swatch because I'm just using cheap paper. But let me pull up photos of these two inks so you can see the chromatography and the saturation the shading of the ink which is super excellent 
So there. So this is my scribe wink slash sailor haul. And um, let me know which sailor inks you have or sailor products that you have, sailor pens and all that. I'm interested to know. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!